hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. I haven't been answering the phone. I get it. Yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm a little bit busy right now, my darling. Um, can I call you back in like, I don't know, a couple hours or something? I can text you here and there, maybe. Yeah, I, I turned my GPS tracker off. No, no, I can absolutely see where you are. I can see you, but I turned mine off. Well, because I just, sometimes girls just want to go out and do something. Baby, what are you? Honey, I, I know it's been um about, a, what, a day and a half now? I just, oh, Rick, three days, Jesus. No, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. I shouldn't have just gone off the, 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 the rails at like that. But I mean, I left a note. I told you I'd be back in a couple days that I was just going to have some me time. It happens. Well, what did the police say? See, the police told you, give me some time. I left a note. They authenticated it. I told my manager, like, everything's copacetic. Okay. What? Oh, interesting. Well, no, we heard about that two days before I left. Yeah, didn't she like decide to? And it's not like it's unheard of after what happened. I mean, everybody found out that she was, you know, a dirty, dirty cheater. And then me and you had those couple of days of celebration. And, um, well, anywho, I decided to go have some me time after celebrating with you. I'm training for my next fight. Uh, no, I mean, I mean, I don't know who I'm fighting. I don't have a fight booked, but I'm sure as soon as I come back, my manager will already have figured out the details. And baby, no, 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 baby, 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 darling, sugar, soupy, no, 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 I'm not going to come back any time soon. I need a couple more days. Okay, fine, fine. You figured it out. You're you're freaking Sherlock Holmes. Yes, I'm with her. Yes, I am in a place I don't want you to come to. She's alive. What did you think I would do to her? I only kind of thought about, you know, doing that to her and that. And, well, <laughs> no, I haven't roughed her up. I knew she had any more bruises or injuries to her then that was going to be a problem so I did the thing that a lot of us fighters did when I showed up at her place I um knocked her out um no we don't tend to knock each other out. just listen would you I knocked her out and then I took a bunch of pictures of her injuries we do this mm -hmm. so that we can monitor how they're healing up and if we get any additional injuries and whatnot, it's it's part of the insurance thing that we have to do too. So yeah, I took a bunch of pictures of her injuries and she hadn't, and I have given her absolutely no more. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I brought her out to the car and I drove her to a place that, you know, it's just some property that I know of. No, of course I don't own it. Then it would link back to me. Nobody comes out here. The family that owns this have more or less abandoned it for years and years and years and years and years. They still own it, but it is whatever. And um, I, she's alive. Yes, I've been making sure she eats and drinks. Yes, she's hydrated. She texted you. She texted you. I saw. I saw that night when we were going back to our place that she texted you and said that she needed to talk. What is there to talk about? So after we... <laughs> Had a lot of fun that night. I um, I woke up a couple hours later. I, I meant to stay up until you went to sleep, but honestly, like, oh, you just always get me properly tired out. <laughs> so good. Anywho, um, I got tired and I went to sleep. And when I woke up, I went through your phone and I saw that she sent a couple more text messages. Yeah. Well, I deleted them. I wasn't going to exactly have you go in and freaking talk to her. She sent some more text messages apologizing for what she did. Asking if you paid me to do that because she doesn't think that we're actually together. Implying that I may possibly also be a cheater, which I am not. I have never and I wouldn't. And then she... 
that was a long time ago. I'm glad to see that you talked to her. It wasn't cheating. I honestly thought that he had broken up with me. And I got weak. And I loved him so much that I went and just listen. It's not that Friends episode is completely based off of things people do. Sometimes we get really sad in those moments of loneliness. And I went out and found someone just for the next day for them to be like, no, I don't want to be on a break. I want to be with you. And it, I, it was a miscommunication. And even he understood. So no, that's the only thing she ever had on me. And I've been very public and very open about it. I even told you about it. If you want to talk to him, if you want to talk to the other guy too, all of us agree on the, the situations it is. I loved him. I loved him. But not the way I love you. You're the one that taught me true love. And the idea of losing you over her lies, her wicked lies, because she needs to get back at me for what I didn't even do to her. I didn't do anything to her. I set two men free that night. She could have just, t she didn't do any of that. I would have had nothing on her except for my hands. And I had no problem just having that thought be not nice, square and fair. But she's the one that chose this. So now she's the one who's down here in this basement clinging to life. She, though she's alive. I have her on all kinds of fun medications. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Again, I told you. I am making sure she stays alive. But she's on all kinds of fun things. And... I just have mannequins that I dressed up as a whole bunch of stuff and I'm using oogie boogie voices and scary freaking language to keep her so petrified that when she walks out of here, everyone is going to think, especially as they get her drug tested, that she just went on some drug bender and everything that she claims happened, they're going to say, oh, well, it must just be the drugs. <laughs> So then everyone's not going to trust a dirty, filthy word that comes out of her mouth. She'll be known as a cheater. She'll be known as a liar. She'll be known as a drug addict. And she'll be known as somebody who just shouldn't and couldn't be trusted. And she'll know better than to ever talk to you again. Baby, she's a special kind of miserable She's the type of miserable where she self-destructs. She had something good. You loved her. You wanted to be with her. You thought about marrying this woman, this vile, wretched wench of a woman. And she went and broke your heart. And then when she saw that you were happy, she tried to ruin that. <laughs> she didn't take her just desserts. I pummeled her in that ring and she wanted a round two. Why? Because she wanted to take a title from me and not because she wanted the title for herself. No, I have it confirmed that she wanted to take it from me because she thought that I was some set up chick that you paid to go beat her up in the ring and she wanted to go get her prod back. Then when she caught an inkling that maybe, just maybe, there was something between us, she tried to rip you from me. She took this from hurting you in the past and me getting revenge for you to her trying to hurt us. And that is unacceptable. And if she would have, yes, baby, I know you wouldn't have done anything. I don't think that you would. It's not that I think that you would. It's that she tried it. She tried it. And now I get to watch her rise in that corner. I get to watch her. She big eyes bulge out of her head as I push some of these mannequins closer to her as I fling water on her and she thinks that it's blood <laughs> as I make her worst nightmares and act in front of her face as I shove her into a teeny tiny little dog cage that she fits in but barely and I sit there with a chainsaw outside just you know revving that engine no I'm not gonna do any of I'm not going to touch her with any of this. No, when I, I make sure to remove anything that is harmful out of the house, very, very far away. 
before I let her out. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to exactly just leave her down here with implements of, you know, mm, anything that would hurt me. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I mask myself. I even use a voice changer whenever I talk to her. Hi. Hi, darling. Maybe you shouldn't. What? No, I don't say darling. I'm, I promise I'm really careful with what I say. I change my voice around. I use all kinds of different um, hmm, tactics to make sure she won't know who I am. And again, even if she does, no one's going to buy it. I'm the girl that bait her up. She went missing before I... Well, yeah, I snuck out. I snuck out. No one saw me. No one knows where I went. I didn't take a phone. I took an old beat up car with no GPS tracking in it whatsoever. I left her cell phone. There was no way to track her here. And again, like she just got beat up and twice and humiliated. No one is looking for her. No one cares. It makes sense that she's missing. I thought every thing through including how I'm going to ensure that she will never ever ever come for you again I'm helping build a story in her head of stuff so that when she gets babbling to those kooks down at those mental asylum they're going to give her lots of hugs <laughs> they're going to give her tons of hugs they're going to put her straight in a straight jacket she ain't ever coming out of that place and then you'll be all mom I won't have to worry about her coming out the woodwork trying to get her claws into you again. What do you mean I shouldn't be worried about this? What do you mean? You just want it to be... It is just us. Look, I get it. You've never had anyone in your life fight for you the way I'm willing to fight for you. But damn it, you're fucking worth it. So how about you just show some appreciation for the fact that I'm making sure that nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to become come in between us hmm? you're mine and i would hate to have to make sure that you know that you're mine okay no i'm not saying i would do all of this to you why would i want to break your brain your brain is one of the things that i think makes you so amazing now baby 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 remember i love you i love you more than life i love you more than the sea i love you more than the air i love Knowing that I get to come home to you every night. Well, no, I know I haven't come home to you these past few nights, baby. But I have been tying up the loose ends that you left behind when she left you. Had you kicked her properly to the curb instead of just let her tap dance all over your heart. Let her hurt you so bad that I had to go make sure that she finally understood what you went through. You were tormented all of that time feeling inadequate, feeling in, not sufficient, feeling like you weren't worth anything because of what she did to you. So how about I uh, restore a little bit of that dignity for you? And how about I make sure that she doesn't come weaseling her way back? She's cute. She knows way too much about you. She knows where your weak points are. She knows how to make you feel vulnerable. She knows how to weasel her way back in. It's not that I don't think that you're loyal. It's that I think that she has abilities, mental abilities, her feminine femme fatale airs that I don't want to take the chance. Plus, doesn't she deserve this? Think about it. Think about it. Her just sitting here feeling locked away and lonely, hopeless the way that you did. Be me playing voicemails of all the people that don't care about her. They're just checking in on her because they make money off of her. Proving to her that no one's looking for her or worried about her. Do you know the entire time she's been down here, her cell phone, not a single text message, not a single call of someone saying, hey, are you okay? It's just a, when are you coming back to work? She's out so toxic. That if someone's not getting something from her, <laughs> then they have nothing to do with her. Meanwhile, you have me, you have a couple of your friends, your family. Again, you, you have it all, baby. <laughs> now, I've got to get back to work. What? 
Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I uh, <laughs> I went and got myself a whole chicken, and I mixed up some ketchup, thinned it down with some water, and uh, I just want to have her see me carving up a nice big old well chicken. I'm thinking about telling her it's something else and scaring the ever loving crap out of her. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cook it up real nice. I'll clean off all the all of the ketchup and I don't know, maybe I'll turn it into some rotisserie something. And I'll feed it to her bit by bit. <laughs> She's gonna have a right nice little dinner. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes by crushing them with my feet. I'm going to clean my feet first. It's fine. How is it different than my hands? Oh, no, no, no. She's not going to get seasoned and spice. The only seasoning she's going to get is ketchup. <laughs> and that's too much for her. <laughs> I'll be home for sure tomorrow, baby. You are right. I've been here for a while. And honestly, I think she's very close to breaking. I'm going to dump her on the side of the road. Make sure that uh, the mental institution gets a phone call. And uh, we'll be off to the races from there. I love you, baby. Mm. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys. Zena Alexander here. <laughs> um, ah! So, hmm. Inspiration for this audio. Um, it's dark. It's dark. If you don't want to hear something dark, click off now. You have been or skip to I don't know about two minutes. I'll try to do it in under two minutes. Um, I uh, during a breakup went to a really dark place. I felt so alone, and I <laughs> I got nothing but messages of people asking me for stuff like there was no really checking in on me and making sure and it's not because like I'd screwed over so many people it's because I had made myself so much of a recluse during that relationship I was not fostering the relationships that I had with my friendships because I became so invested in that relationship so um I remember this like impending dread feeling when I was just completely left on my own and didn't know how I was going to pick myself up. I didn't feel like I really had anyone there that really cared. And it was a really dark period. So that was kind of the inspo of what was going to happen to the ex. Um, but I also um, have been there whenever a former ex tried to get back with my my partner at the time. And seeing the text messages and getting that fear and wanting to do whatever I could to make it to where they stopped talking. Now, this was after, I mean, it's happened a couple different times and sometimes it led to arguments. But, and I never did anything to the exes, at least in those moments. Um, there was a couple of times that we saw them out and about and they said some shit to me and some stuff went down. Um, but, um <laughs> allegedly um so because i can't still talk about some of that stuff um i mean i can allegedly um but anywho i i i know that 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 place where it's like okay i trust my partner but it's not it's not that i don't trust my partner it's that i mean someone who knows you on an intimate level can do things to you they can convince you of stuff they can talk to you into stuff they can test that loyalty and it's easy to become confused it's not saying that someone's not loyal it's that confusion sparks easily from someone who knows you someone who you've had those intimate bonds with on some degree some level and it's 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 actually pretty easy to reignite some fires and even if someone's like no i'm completely done i'm completely done there was something at some point that brought you two together, be it altruistic or not. And so it's scary. It's a very, very scary, scary place to be. Okay, so we have officially, I got the achievement from vidIQ that we have hit 300,000 watch hours. That is crazy. That means 34 years worth of time has been viewed on this channel alone. Um, That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. That is nuts to me. And we're closing in on a record number of likes as well. I want to say it's like 150,000. Um, 
I could check that right now. Did IQ come here? I just, I can't believe what you guys are helping me achieve. Yeah, we are, uh, sorry, we've already achieved 150,000 likes. We're on track to hit in the next couple of days, 175,000 likes. I don't, I don't think I've owned 175,000 of anything in my life. <laughs> that is a huge number. That is absolutely insane to me. Um, I can't thank you guys for everything that you've done. And um, I did a poll over on Patreon and I put it for everyone. So even if you are just a free, like you can actually follow me on Patreon without subscribing or paying a dime. And I put a poll up saying, would you guys like longer formed content on Patreon? And I, um, overwhelmingly, you guys said yes. And I know that seems like nonsensical, like, of course you would, but sometimes content's just at a perfect level. I, you, I did 10 minute, um, other versions of my stuff and you guys were liking that. And then people said, okay, but I want the one that's on YouTube as well. So I started adding that. So it became extended cuts. Um, but I also really like doing longer form content. I like having more time to character develop so and this is easy for me this is not hard I love doing this telling stories is something I've always wanted to do it's something I've always done I literally in fourth grade got the Ann Brandon award for writing which is a Texas thing like all of Texas um kids from every school district um and only one child is picked per grade gets an Ann Brandon award I got the Ann Brandon award that is for for writing and it was great and I I, it's just something I've always been into. So yeah, anywho, um, this is not a problem for me. Like telling my little crazy stories is, it's actually cathartic. This has actually become a form of therapy that even my therapist is recognizing for me. So that's a great thing. Anyways, I love you guys. I am just blathering and babbling, but all of that to say, I love you guys. And if you want more content or content in different formats, feel free to ask the, the worst, I'll, the worst things I'll say is no. And I'll say it politely. Um, but yeah, I don't mind doing it. So thank you. And I do plan to post more stuff on Patreon for those who are not subscribed. So even if you're not paying stuff that I'm pretty sure that is not too spicy, like it's fine. It's just it's too spicy for YouTube. I might also be posting over there because um, there's some stuff that like YouTube will flag me for. And I'm like, why did you flag? And it's like, that was an adult sound. I'm like, that was just me kissing something. What the hell did you think I was doing? Um, I've had some wholesome, truly wholesome stuff get flagged. So I might start posting it over there and just making it free as a thank you for you guys. Maybe especially as we hit different milestones. We'll see. Anyways, I love you guys more than bacon and I will see you in the next video. Bye.